eater. Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Tonight, bringing you Theraphosa Sturmi Spiderling Care. To start off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this spider, and I'm gonna show you a beautiful, I say little spiderling, but this species, as you know, is one of the largest in the whole world, and these spiderlings are not all that little. Let's take a look. This is a young Theraphosa Sturmi also known as the Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. This is a terrestrial species from Guyana that enjoys temperatures in the mid 70s to mid 80s Fahrenheit and about a 70 to 80% humidity. This species starts off large and is medium to fast growing, topping out at a whopping 10 inch leg span which is what people call the dinner plate size tarantula. At this age, they eat small to medium crickets and roaches. In the wild, they are opportunistic feeders and eat a variety of things. A lot of people like to keep this species in large, long aquarium, although that's really beautiful, and I know a lot of experienced tea keepers who do that, I do worry about the lack of ventilation because the species tends to get bacterial infections and things like that quite easily. One of my good friends who I respect greatly has a giant sturmi in a beautiful aquarium and his has thrived very well. So it can be done, but you need to monitor your animal carefully. This species is voracious eater. They do like to have a little hide and although they have a less potent venom, their fangs grow to be so large that people do worry about the pain involved in the bite just due to the puncture wound. Overall, I think this is a really beautiful and exciting species to keep and one that I really love having in my collection due to their beautiful coloration. Although it's not as flashy as some other tropical species, their sheer massive size makes them really fun to grow up. This species is a voracious eater. It just ate directly off my tongs, and now it's running off to go and eat its kill in privacy. This animal loves to eat. In a nutshell, that was Theraphosa sturmi spiderling care. As you saw, I had my tongs, my nets, my little tweezers, I usually use paint brushes, the enclosure, vermiculite, spray bottle, all the handy tools that I use for most of my animal care. Hope you guys like this one, leave your questions below, and to see more spiderling care, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon.